Grand Admiral Thrawn's army of undead soldiers may give him a large, unexpected edge over Force users in the Jedi. This is something we need to talk about in a watch party. So one of the theories going on for a while now is that Thrawn's army is actually mostly undead. Surviving in this rough galaxy was hard and he lost most of his troops. However, the Knight Sisters used their magic to revive the fallen soldiers and refill his ranks. This is why their armor is different and clearly patched together. They were already killed in fights. It's also why they are called Knight Troopers in the closed captioning. They aren't normal stormtroopers. Perhaps night troopers refers to them after they've been revived. It does answer a lot of questions about his crew complement, but what does it mean for his battles going forward? What I want to focus on is how Jedi, specifically Ahsoka and maybe Luke, would be able to fight against them. Now the key to understand the problem is how the Force works. From that we need to check in with our favorite Jedi Master. Now, the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. Now the key point I want to focus on is, he says it's created by all living things. Yes, living things. The midichlorians reside in your cells. And the force can be used to form a bond with another living thing, animal or person. You also know the force can be used to manipulate inanimate objects. But what about undead night troopers. They're literally the opposite of a living thing. Like not living, not inanimate, undead. What if the force doesn't work on them the way it does everything else? Think of it as like a hole in the force. There's this energy field coming and surrounding everywhere except them. It could give Thrawn a significant tactical advantage. Now it is clear he is unaware of this at the moment. He wouldn't know to expect it. However, if he discovers this, it could give him an upper hand he would exploit. A Jedi can see things before they happen, and perhaps sense a large army approaching, but maybe not if they're night troopers. They wouldn't set off tremors in the force the way normal army would. Ezra managed to knock some back, but what if he was only knocking their armor, which is inanimate? He wasn't actually able to control the people. If they lose the armor, maybe it'd be a lot harder to fight them with the force. We'll have to wait and see, but I think it would be a really cool way to take this undead soldier theory to the next level. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, I'll see you at the next watch party.